Hey you guys, it's me Kiana coming at you today, and I'm coming at you because I'm sitting here eating my sunflower seeds, right? Yeah, one carb, right? So I'm sitting here eating my sunflower seeds, and um, I took my appetite suppressant. I'm I'm doing good. Uh, today I ate uh. What's this? Broccoli and ca uh, carrots um, by man's. Yeah, so I stay away from the carrots and just eat the broccoli and then I have uh, ranch dressing. One carb. <laughs> yeah, so that's what I had as my solid food today and then I had my taking over him. Green machine, so naked life. juice that has uh, spinach and, and broccoli and, and blue green algae and barley glass and wheatgrass and parsley and all that good stuff, right? And I'm drinking my crystal light and my um, drinking my crystal light. I don't know why this happens. I hate when commercials do this. You guys know that I'm not a sweet person. I'm not a person that, um, you know, that eats a lot of sweets. I'm more of a carb junkie. Well, why does Rolo commercial come on? Yeah, I said Rolo, because Rolo ain't been out in 25 to 40 years, it seemed like to me. Okay, so why does Rolo com commercial come on? And it's the little droplets of chocolate with the caramel on the inside. And I had to catch myself because I had to close my mouth because my mouth was open evidently while the commercial was playing. <laughs> my mouth was open while the commercial was playing, so I was looking at it like this. Like this. <laughs> Y'all, that's just ridiculous. Let's just say it. And I'm not even a sweet person, but, you know, I'm not a sweets eater, but those Rolos look so good. And then it brung back like, hey, didn't Daddy have some cupcakes the other day? <laughs> but guess what? I'm going to stay strong. Go hard or go home. Remember that, y'all. Yeah, we're not doing no slip-ups, but I had to come and tell y'all because... You know, I find I found it funny. You have to find humor in in all things, um, in 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 your struggles, because um, it's humor to it, but it's also also a uh, testimony of overcoming. And each time that you have that that struggle inside, but um, yeah. So you may wonder how I'm able to get past it, or. How I'm able to get through it. Well, I'm able to get through it because I take it to the stream. You know, our mindset when we're overeaters are not normal. So we're going to have to fight this with an abnormal mindset as well. So I take it to the stream. Whenever I look at something or I'm eating something, I ask myself, is it worth me dying over? Now, I'm not talking about when I eat something that is within the confines of my program or my diet plan or my weight loss journey. I'm not talking about eating things that's on a straight and narrow. I'm talking about whenever I'm tempted to eat something where I know daggone well Kiana should not be partaking in that. Now, I ask myself, okay, pack of Rolos. I can eat it, but is it worth me dying over? Is it worth me eating these Rolos and that be the last thing I did? Is it worth that bringing on or be the last thing I eat before I have a heart attack? It sounds sad and it may sound strange to some of y'all, but you have to understand. I don't have a normal relationship with food. And any of you out there that are overeaters and you've been so for many, many years, if not all of your life like me, you are not normal. Face it. And the only way that you're going to really overcome is to get to the root of it and also fight it 
with an abnormal type of behavior about it or feeling towards it. It's just, that's the only way it's going to work. You cannot fight something abnormal with a normal way of thinking. It just doesn't work. Think about it. Really sit and think about it. When the last time you saw something that wasn't normal and you was able to solve it with being normal? That's just like crazy people. Sometimes you gotta act crazy with crazy people. Because that's the only time they can hear you. You can't come at a crazy person sane. They don't hear you. But if you come to them crazy, just like just like they crazy, you come to them crazy. Oh, sometimes it 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 clicks. Sometimes they hear you then. You can't fight abnormal behavior with normal behavior. So even though it sounds extreme to some of you, and it probably will sound extreme to some of you, but I gotta do what works for me. And looking at those things, those foods that got me to where I'm at, and asking it before I eat it, asking myself, is it worth me dying over? Is it worth me not being able to go on field trips with my children? Is it worth me not being able to run with Pooty one day? Is it worth those things? Is it worth me, you know, not aging and being able to become an older woman because my life is just snuffed up underneath of me? Snuffed out? Is it worth it? And I ask myself that. And you know what? The reason why I don't slip that often is because the answer every single time is no. Every single time I ask that question to myself, genuinely ask that question to myself, the answer is no. In fact, the answer is hell no, to be honest with you. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. And you have to find what works for you. That way of thinking works for me. And I only share it because maybe I could have thought like that a couple of years ago. If somebody shared it with me. I share it with you in hopes that maybe that is something or angle that can work with you. Because see, we can't keep bringing knives to gunfights. This is a gunfight. Stop throwing them sticks. And stop throwing, picking up a few rocks. You got to bring big guns to a gunfight. In order to win it. In order to even give it a run for its money. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. I'm bringing all ammo I got. All of it. Open up that closet. Give me that, that, that. And two of those too. That's how I'm crying it. I'm not going to come to a gunfight with a few sticks and two rocks. That's just me. So I'm using any tricks I can. I eat off of smaller plates. That's another trick for mine. Where normally I would eat off of a bigger plate and then have the little bit of food that I'm eating floating in this little teeny plate. And I'm looking at it like, that's it? No. I use a small plate. Then that plate is full. My mind is t is telling me, oh, she eating a whole plate of food. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm using these as examples of what I do. I keep these next to me at all times. Why? Pack with all kinds of nutrients. I don't have high blood pressure, so the salt does not bother me. It's not enough salt for me to retain any you know, water or whatever, or have any issues about it, because I don't, I, I basically, I'm not eating too many solid foods, so therefore, if you're not eating too many solid foods, naturally, you're not eating that much salt, especially compared to the normal or the average person, and especially more than that, compared to what I used to eat, so those are a win-win situation, and they almost no carbs. I keep them next to me at all times. Whenever I have that urge to want to munch on something or I see somebody eating something or I see a commercial that clicks in my head that, oh, I want to eat something, that abnormal way of thinking, that abnormal behavior, I bring out my arsenal. I bring out my big guns. 
And that's what I do. When I feel hungry, and I already ate my solid food, I bring out my big guns. Cannot fight abnormal behavior with normal behavior. On that note, you guys, talk to you guys later. Stay strong and be blessed.